what is up everybody the hunter gt with the hunter gt.com that's right go check out the website the hunter gt.com what is going on today we are back out at the old park we have the t2 classic the detector of the day i've been pulling it out more more often recently i've noticed um it's super deep super fast it just it's, this is a super hot one too i mean this thing air test is past a foot easy and uh, yeah it's a sparky one and i like it that way and then days i want my smooth operation i grab my f75 plus turn on dst and i'm good to go so and still get 10 inches on a on a coin size object so yeah this one's super deep though and super fast and just it's great with a high disc it doesn't lose much depth at all if i crank the disc up um, and sometimes I, I like to cherry pick you guys know me i'm a cherry picker at heart so i do not like low disc i do not hunt for gold rings i leave that for you guys i leave the glory for you guys so out here at the park today and uh without further ado let's go find us some stuff all right there's some people enjoying the early morning park hour so i'm not going to squeal it top volume here so you can just see 84 there beep 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 there you go here we'll pinpoint three inches so we'll see what it is should be a dime or a penny let's find out Yep, clad dime right there. Just like we said it would be. On to the next. All right, two targets here next to each other. 84, 83, so that's probably a dime penny. And over here we got a zinc, 76, 77. So a zinc and a dime penny, most likely. A penny and a penny or a penny and a dime. We'll see, we'll see. All right, so there it was. It was a dime on the right-hand side. I said it was going to be a dime penny. I was right there. On the left, I said it's probably going to be a zinc. I wasn't correct there. It's an old English 800. Fine malt liquor right there. Boy, that's high-quality stuff. If you ever tasted it, mm -mm, delicious. Uh, do not try it, ever. Uh, Clyde Dime there on the right. So happy for that. Old English going in the trash. On to the next. Just found that at about three inches. Love, it says. <laughs> Wish it was solid gold or something. It's zinc. It rang up in the zinc range. Thought it was a z zinc penny, actually, at like eh, three, four inches, I want to say it rang up. So I was like, eh, at this park, that's deep enough to be an Indian head penny. So you got to dig them. Oh, man. You've seen me with pockets full. Of I mean, zinc spills here at this park, five, six. And you've seen me dig nine inch zincs as well. So you got to dig them all here at this park, shallow and deep stuff. But anyways, back to this find. A love token. Wish it was solid gold. That'd be dope. Look at this. Look at this. I was out here first. Clearly out here first. And these guys always come up crowd me. Every single day I'm out here. These guys coming up crowding me. I think that's the male. Look at that guy. He looks different. See him? See him right there? He's got the different colors. Big old white front in there. He's bigger. I don't know. I don't know if that's a male. Maybe it's a pregnant female. I don't know if he's the top dog, top queen. Oh my god, I know nothing about birds. I know nothing about birds. Man, poor Abe Lincoln can't catch a break, can he? Look at that. Poor guy got cut right, right down the collar, right down the collarbone. And there's another big gash where the blade hit him a second time. Oh man, it's not a blade, it's a bullet. Poor Abe. So check this out, I just found another one. But this one, poor Abe got it across the head. It's a different coin, you know how I know? Because if I look on the back side, that's a wheat penny right there. You can see the wheat things on bottom. Yeah, that's definitely a wheat penny. Might be zooming in too close there, but you can see it. So a wheat penny, the last one had the memorial building on the back, so. 
two different coins in a row struck by lawnmowers decades and decades apart. That's bonkers. I'm assuming decades apart. The other one looked like it was a different tone of color. This one's like black copper, super dark brown. The other one was a little lighter, I want to say. Maybe I'm mistaken. Who knows? On to the next. Well, this time old Roosevelt took one to the side of the head, man. Look at that. No, oh, poor bastard. 1997 on that one. And then I kept pinpointing the hole. I kept hearing a beep. In there after I pulled that one, you always recheck your hole, 1997, rechecked it. And like an inch or two, I had to actually get out the trowel to dig in deeper. Two, three inches down was a 67 dime as well. So a 97 and a 67 right on top of each other, basically 30 years apart. I don't think they were the same drop, honestly, because there were so much distance between them. Um, but there it is. Pretty cool. On to the next. Yes, sir. Dime signal. 84, 83, 4 inches. Let's find out. Yep, clad dime. And check it out, it's kind of cool though. You, here's the dirt clod. You can see exactly where it was imprinted. It came out of it. I pulled it out there. It stayed together. See, so, you know, on one side it's all nice and rounded. And then you can see the real flat spot where the dime was in there over the years. You know, it's a 90s dime. So it's bonkers to say that it's a 99 dime. And that is what, 19 years ago. Almost 20 years ago, 1999. Wow. Time is flying. Crazy. Just found this little wrench. It's like a uh, trinket of some sort. Not a trinket, but you know. It's got a little hole drilled in it with a loop to hang. And you can see on the end it's all crusted up like it's zinc or something like that. Like a zinc penny corrodes. So it's not a real wrench or anything like that. It doesn't even have a mark like for the size or <clears throat> anything. Excuse me. It doesn't have a mark for size or anything like that. So yeah, it's some sort of... Uh, necklace pendant or something keychain fob maybe something like that i don't know something crazy all right got a signal here 90 91 92 it's fairly deep seven eight inches seven inches Pretty consistent signal, so hopefully a quarter, deep quarter, maybe silver. All right, and it definitely was down a good seven, eight inches. There it is, a silver dime, 1951 Roosevelt. Pretty thrilled. All right, silver, silver, silver. Always makes you happy. So read up a little high because of the mineralization in the soil. It reads up at about an 84, 85 when I pass it over the coil right now. Um, I want to say it was reading up like 88, 89 earlier, maybe even a 90 in there every once in a while. So I'd have to go rewind and look. But uh, I think it read a couple ID points high. It was pretty deep, 7, 8 inches. And in this soil, you know, that's pretty good. So pretty good. T2 finding dimes at seven eight inches no problem you guys heard that signal was pretty strong the id was nice and strong too so i mean yeah it up averaged it to a quarter but who cares it was a nice solid id that wasn't wavering much between two and three ids so pretty thrilled yep <laughs> obsoleted right yeah all these all these t2s and f75 yeah they're obsolete right right yeah get that crap out of here Shallow quarter signal. 89, 90. That range is usually a quarter. Not a lot on the mineralization bar, so usually a bottle cap will peg that up pretty high, four or five. So fingers crossed. We'll see. It could be a bottle cap. Sometimes it, it reads like that. Oftentimes it doesn't. So it's not 100%. Let's see. Yep. There it was right there in the hole. It's a clad quarter, a 86. The 80s, oh man, what a great decade. I was 
a kid and went into my, my teenage years in the 80s. Man, it was good times. Good times growing up then. Some weird crap was going on, let me tell you. But it was some good times. Just nab that. 68 penny. A decade off from a wheat. Oh well. Oh well. You gotta love the 60s, right? You gotta love the 60s. Alright, pretty strong 83. <laughs> Five inches down. Pretty repeatable as I circled it too. We'll see what it is. 1976 clad dime. Yay. Yay. <laughs>